welcome back to my channel and in this series of talking with other students about their experience studying in US we have a new guest Regina Adhikari let's welcome her <laughs> thank you for joining our video series um, thank you thank you for having me so let's get started with your introduction so hi, I'm Regina Adhikari. I'm doing Masters in Fisheries and Agriculture and I joined LSU in Spring 2023. Uh, so it's already getting like one year uh, mm -hmm. since you joined. Um, how is your experience till now in LSU in new country and all? Um, well, uh, in a new country, my experience is like so good so far. Mm -hmm. So I get to like make many friends and then like get to know their culture, yeah. their food preferences. Yeah. and. I used to have like homesickness mm -hmm. in the past few months mm -hmm. but I'm getting used to like adapting in this yeah. new environment and yeah overall like it's going good. Mm -hmm. And also I think many universities does that they uh, conduct like many programs it's happening like all week so you get to know people and have uh, fun around uh, university so it's like it, it's not like you won't feel homesick but it's uh, there are ways to have fun here so it's yeah. good <laughs> yeah regina is working as a graduate research assistant in our lab um, how did you land in this position like did you apply directly to the university or you emailed professor so uh, in my case i emailed professor um, since like I'm, I was like planning to apply for a biological field like horticulture, mm -hmm. like soil sciences. We need to email profession, right? Yeah. So, um, in my undergraduate study, I had like research related to soil sciences mm -hmm. and uh, precious and agriculture. So uh, while like going through the university, then also like uh, uh, like searching for faculties, I only emailed like professor whose research was under like soil sciences and precious and agriculture. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I email like several professors, like around six hundred to seven hundred professors, mm -hmm. and I do like uh, got, got some like sub, like few responses from them. But uh, one of the professor called me for an interview, and yeah, the interview going well, and I'm here. Uh, was it was it your first and last interview, or you gave other also? Um, it's, it was my first interview, like mm -hmm. yeah. That's lucky. <laughs> Can you tell us more about uh, your interview experience? You mean with the professor? Yes. Um, so it went well. Uh, so my professor was like more interested in my CV. Mm -hmm. So he just went to my CV and like more specifically to the skills. Mm -hmm. So he just went and he just asked if I know some like uh, software for data analysis part. And also like you went through my activities like what I had done during my undergraduate mm -hmm. study and also like uh, I had mentioned like several trainings that I had like done during my study mm -hmm. so he also was like uh, going through all those things in my CV yeah. and also he asked me some questions related like uh, what's your experience and like are you interested in writing and all those things yeah, uh, yeah um, about that I have already talked about in my previous video about my interview experience that most of the professors ask uh, the things that you have already sent them like CV, SOP, research interest, email, what you have written that you have done uh, in your like previous uh, research experience or anything that you have mentioned about you will have to know about that thing because they will ask uh, how did you do it or how was the experience doing this thing you have mentioned uh, this 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 in your CV so tell me about it they will ask about that so be prepared what you have mentioned in your CV and other documents um, okay and while you applied to LSU um, can you tell us about your GPA a GRE score TOEFL score and uh, like any did you have uh, any published work at that time? Um, so, uh, well, my percentage was like 81, something like that, uh, above 80. Mm -hmm. But when I con converted into like uh, US requirements, mm -hmm. it was like 4. Mm -hmm. And I did that because uh, it was like compulsory at that time. Mm -hmm. So I need to like evaluate my credentials mm -hmm. before I apply. Mm -hmm. And then um, 
regarding my GRE, it was like t- around 305 mm-hmm. and my TOEFL score was 90 plus which which met the department requirements so yeah and I didn't I didn't have like any problems to work mm-hmm. that time so it, it's fine uh, uh-huh. you just need to get above the requirement yeah. minimum requirement then you are fine so yeah. you just need to have a professor that is willing to fund you mm-hmm. and um, about the GPA converting, how many days before you like apply to the university you gave for the WES evaluation or you have already like done it? Uh, actually in my case, my every, everything was like going slow, like my um, even my interview was like three or four days before the application deadline. Mm-hmm. So I need to like uh, eval- like go for the evaluation, credential evaluation mm-hmm. after I apply. Mm-hmm. So it was like, I think uh, after I made the application, I just like go for the evaluation. So it was late, like not before I apply, but since it was the requirement, because I think every every university doesn't need that. So since LSU, like it was compulsory, I had to do that. So I just do after I apply for like for the application. So I thought they take like twenty five days uh, to process. Uh, is it not the case? Uh, actually, that depends on how much you pay. Oh, like if you pay like big yeah. amount, then yeah. it. I think uh, that was that is more mm-hmm. uh, about the courier charge. Uh-huh. So if you like want to get that like in one or two days, you have to pay like high. I mm-hmm. think I paid like around three hundred fifty dollar for that. For the like, courier for the or overall, the... no, 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 for the overall process. Okay. Uh, yeah. So converting so and uh, couriering that. Uh, transcript mm-hmm. to the university yeah and it took me about like 10 days to oh, do that then it's fine then it's yeah. fine i thought it takes a lot of time mm-hmm. so but still to save your money maybe like nowadays a lot of universities ask for a GI, gpa evaluation so just do it um but i also have heard like we could do the gpa conversion mm-hmm. after we reach to us if your like professor agree to waive away with the credential um, after application. Okay. So ma- many of my friends and seniors has done that, but in LSU it was kind of compulsory, so I need to do that like before evaluation process. Okay. So you should consult to your professor mm-hmm. and maybe other seniors that are already in that university, you can ask them if you can convert your GPA after coming to US. Mm-hmm. So th- that's a new thing to know. Mm-hmm. Um, and. As you are working as a GRA, how is your life uh, like as a GRA, like work and work-life balance, all that? Well, it's going good. Um, I'm taking like several class- classes in fall mm-hmm. and at the same time I'm also conducting research of my own and also I'm like as a research assistant I'm also assisting my professor in different different things like uh, data collection and also report writing, mm-hmm. data inventory, mm-hmm. data analysis and like so many other things and it's going well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm um, doing so far. Basically as a GRA we have to assist our professor in research and other things Mm -hmm. so it's just that Um, what type of differences you have felt uh, since you have been here uh, in Nepal and in US education system well uh, in my opinion like uh, in the in Nepal versus US the education system I felt was like huge difference Mm -hmm. because uh, in Nepal our courses are more focused on theoretical part but here we do have like theoretical part but at the same time like we also do some practical work Mm -hmm. and I think it's very important to focus on the practical part because it's uh, it's like it makes us like easier Mm -hmm. to understand it like more appropriately and it's like it's is the better way of education system i guess yes it's you are you are absolutely right mm-hmm. regina and um no, you can <laughs> <laughs> yes what culture shocks you have felt since you have been in us um so being in us like i have felt like 
so many differences. Uh, first one, in case of lang language, like though we understand English and though we speak English, mm -hmm. but uh, it was hard for me like sometimes to understand the American accent. Yeah. And now I'm getting used to it, but mm -hmm. it was kind of hard like in the beginning okay. to understand the typical yeah. American accent. Yeah. And also there are like, uh, in case of food, mm -hmm. like their food preferences mm -hmm. is so different from ours. Mm -hmm. So it took like so many months for me to adapt in that environment. Uh, and um, what other? And also like uh, I had to like hear like most of the people are like Christian and we do have like Hindu. We are like most of the people, Nepalese people are Hindu. So even like in that part of like in the religious mm -hmm. aspect, like we do have some differences that, that I felt. And but like this part of all those, like we do have a Nepalese community over here, like in Baton Rouge. So we never miss like any kind of like festivals or like gatherings. So that that is making me like um, familiar mm -hmm. with my mm -hmm. yeah with my own. Yeah. Um, so for for me one culture shock that i can't get over uh -huh. like <laughs> uh, was very surprising is that like people are really very polite like most of the time uh, because like mm -hmm. uh, even strangers they smile at you and they say like good morning uh, hi how are you doing and they open door for you even they, they don't know you those are the things I was like really surprised to know about uh, like after coming here and that's really nice Sweet. thing yeah. because we have also learned that uh, after coming here in Nepal we didn't know anything about that so I think we need to be more polite <laughs> to yeah, others yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like so lots of we have meetings. to think before we speak maybe yeah, yeah. kind of like that yeah. even we were like a rude right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Say please in everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> so okay, last one, uh, but not the least one. <laughs> so, do you recommend other students who are aspiring to come to US for masters, uh, or you have uh, any other thoughts? So I'm enjoying so far. Like I'm doing masters, mm -hmm. and I'm also like conducting research, mm -hmm. and I'm also like getting involved in the, like my professor's research, which is like uh, which is gonna help me in my academic career, like in the future. So I think it's better if you like really think of doing masters mm -hmm. because we do not have to pay for it, and even we are yeah. getting some stipend. Yes. So in assistantship, I think it's 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 a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like you get to expose more yourself in, in yes. academic things. So yeah. if if somebody is like doing, like you're thinking of doing masters, then it's better in my opinion. Yeah. Like you don't have to pay a single cent to yeah. finish your degree. Uh, it's just what you have um, yeah. brought from Nepal to settle mm -hmm. down. After that, you don't have to pay. They pay you for giving you a degree. Yeah. So it's really nice to have assistance mm -hmm. for doing masters or like graduate any studies, but if you don't have that, it will be a problem. So yeah, I would suggest uh, find an assistance before coming here. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I will doubt my choice. So I think that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you again, Regina, for agreeing for this You're and welcome. thank, thank you guys <laughs> thank you guys for watching till now um bye bye, bye. <laughs>